Thank you, Ian. I'm currently standing in front of the Simi Valley Courthouse, where later this afternoon, the prosecution will be bringing their star witness to the Alexander Romano case. Information about this witness has not yet been made public. However, the prosecution has alleged that this witness has been in hiding for the past six months. Got a burger, fries, and a drink? Uh, yeah. Here you go, sir. Thank you. You have a good one. Uh, you, you too. He was charged with the possession and trafficking of illegal narcotics along with second degree manslaughter. Now, if you remember our report upon Romano's initial arrest, this was a second degree murder charge. However, the prosecution, quote, corrected the charges before trial was set to begin two weeks ago. This is not the first time the Romano crime family has faced these types of investigations from federal law enforcement. <coughs> Two years ago was when the Romano mansion was first raided by the Drug Enforcement Agency. Now, that raid proved to be unsuccessful. However, a mere two days later, the DEA arrested the family patriarch, Antonio Romano. This arrest followed a breaking story of an anonymous transaction from within the Romano family. The same witness that we will hear from later this afternoon. I think it's safe to say that without this witness, Alexander Romano could walk free. Back to you in the studio, Ian.